If you guys want to get notified whenever I buy or sell a player, make sure to follow me on ultimatetrader.club, sign up for free now, and check how I make coins with my trading journal. How's it going everyone and welcome to another Market Watch video. Before going into this next video, who was on my stream on Thursday, you've seen the scenes. Taliska bought for 60k, has been sold around 120,000 coins. Thiago Silva bought for 30k, went up to 60k. Or here, touch his price cap and many other investments were sold for great profit. If you still haven't jumped on our investing train, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on for when I release the new videos. A lot of questions I'm getting why Griezmann or Ramos were going for a lower price yesterday. They're there's a simple answer for that. A lot of people caught up to the idea that these cards go up in price once they're out of packs. Now not many are patient enough or do know that the best time to sell these players is Thursday after the rewards. When these guys saw La Liga players go down in price instead of up, the panicking has started. Loads of people tried to get rid of their cards and undercut so the supply was higher than the demand. I unfortunately wasn't at home yesterday evening, but if I were, I would have picked up loads of these cards. Now, I hope you still hold these cards as I expect them to rise on Thursday after the rewards. Keep in mind that people get the coins from the rewards and while they can't afford certain La Liga team of the season cards, they go for their lower rated version. Since these gold cards aren't supplied on the market anymore, they go up in price then. Same thing happened with some of the La Liga informs, some of them are even lower than on Monday. I will pick someone up now as I don't think their team of the season version could reach the price their previous informs are and while this won't happen I do think these cards will go up again on Thursday after the rewards so make sure to check my journal. I hope you guys bought Brazilian team of the season players from Liga Nas yesterday as they were lowest in price once again on Friday. Most of these cards are already going up in price and I expect a similar turnover as Talisca and other Brazilian players did. Again if you hold these cards sell Thursday after the rewards. I will also release another video on Monday about the Serie A investments that you could make, but if they will react same as the La Liga ones did, buy day for them might be on Friday when the expected Serie A team of the season is out. A lot of you are asking me when is the best time to sell League 1 team of the season players. Here you need to listen to me closely. If you have invested or if you hold any of the players that are really high in value from any type of league, make sure to sell on Thursday after the rewards. This is really important. Sell your high valued investments this Thursday as EA best of top should be out. We don't know which players will be provided, but if you have any players high in price, there is a good chance they will be reintroduced in packs after the Serie A team of the season is back and drop back down in price. So whatever team of the season cards you have, make sure to sell them this Thursday after the rewards. Also loads of you asked me when to buy La Liga team of the season. Now if you're talking about players like Ronaldo or Messi, don't buy these cards yet, as I think more packs can be opened during the best of team of the season and these cards could drop even more in value than this week. Basically any investment is higher risk to jump in right now. So if you think some of the La Liga team of the season players won't be reintroduced in packs during EA Best of Thoughts, I do think you can gamble your luck and buy either on Monday or Thursday. As I predicted, some League One players like Fabinho have been lowest on Monday, while players like Sarri have had their low point on Thursday after the rewards. I do think many La Liga players could be lower on Thursday after rewards as the supply could be higher, and while people know that they could be reintroduced in packs, the demand could be lower. An example could be Carrasco. We're not sure if EA would include him in the best team of this season, but if they don't, I do think his low point could be sometimes on Thursday. If he will be reintroduced in packs, then his low point should be sometime then. So here you're basically gambling and deciding for yourself whether you think a card will be reintroduced in packs or not. As many of these La Liga players have a high chance of being reintroduced in packs, my guess is that you'll gamble your luck on Thursday. If you buy a player that won't be released during EA best of team of the season, I do think you're making a great deal and when that best team of the season is released, you could be making a fair amount of coins. Thank you guys for watching this video. In my next video, I will explain some of the investments we could do for Serie A team of the season and the team of the season released on Tuesday. If you have any further questions, just tweet me at ObalaTV.